Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today I want to talk about who you are when you really know yourself. And the thing is, you think you'll find it by reading about it online and you'll read uh, articles and you'll take personality tests and you'll contact experts and they will give you reports and they will tell you 100% this is who you are. And you'll find that great and you'll find that amazing and it will truly remind you of who you are. But what I believe in is a process called the hero's journey. I believe you find out who you are by actively making your life come true, you know, making your dreams come true, making yourself come true. You know, you're not just yourself, but you're actually something that you have to make happen. People think you can only live in this world, you know, the inner world, and that will be enough. What you know will be enough, what you think will be enough, what you have inside experience and knowledge will be enough to know who you are, but that's not it. You have to actually Okay, paired with the studies of yourself, you have to go out and you have to make your life happen and you have to work towards your dream, you have to set goals for yourself, you have to write a script for yourself, you have to decide what you want for yourself and you, then you have to make that happen and that is when you learn who you are. I gained a lot of experience and a lot of self-awareness through politics. It's really quite amazing how much that taught me and also moving to another country also living uh, creating a new life for myself in Amsterdam it taught me who I really was because you know I went in there with some ideas about who I was and uh, what I had to be and then I came there and then I learned and then I realized this is who I am this is what I have to be and uh, you'll be going through that same process as well when you realize when you who you really are, you're also in a situation that you don't like. Sometimes it's like you're in a situation and you realize you don't like that and that doesn't actually make you happy. You go into a situation and you realize it overwhelms you. It's too much. It's too exhausting. And then you realize you have to change something. And then you have to reaffirm something in yourself. Finding out who you are comes from reaffirming something within yourself. People think, oh, the person who pursuit of self-discovery has to be negative and critical and you have to be very critical and harsh about yourself to see yourself objectively and so people come into believing they are a certain personality type because they believe they have latent weaknesses oh i'm too weak uh, i'm too nice i'm too uh, annoying i'm too overwhelming people come in there and that's how they look at um, personality type but it's from a process that is extremely limiting, extremely damaging, and extremely controlling. And it doesn't actually help you find out who you are. You know, when you find out who you are, it's like you've been given kind of like a platform to jump to or to spread yourself out. It's like, uh, oh, I can actually put myself back and sit back and relax in this spot. Uh, who you are is something that you like and love about yourself. When you're a kind personality type, you don't think you're being ni too nice, you don't think you're being too much, you don't think people are using you. When you are a kind personality type, you realize that this is good and this feels nice and this feels good, not because anybody else uh, cares about it or not because anybody else will like me for it, because but because I just like being that way. <laughs> and that's how it is, you know. Uh, you're not intelligent because you want to get praise from the teacher, but you're intelligent because you're intelligent. If you are intelligent and if you value intelligence and critical thinking, you'll be that way no matter what the teacher will reward you for. Even if the teacher doesn't like it, you'll still want to be critical and you still want to be intelligent. But perhaps you'll write, write down your questions in a notebook instead of asking them by raising up your hand. And that's the thing. Yeah? You have to constantly align who you are with who your values are, what your values are, and you have to find outlets for that in everything you do. Whenever you shut down your own values or who you are, you also make yourself unhappy and miserable. You make yourself more stressed, you make yourself more exhausted, you make yourself less passionate, and you make yourself a little more dead. You feel a little more dead, you feel a little more out of your zone, and a little less who you are. It's like you want to be excited and you want to be enthusiastic about something uh, as an extrovert intuitive type, but then people are telling you, oh, you're too much or you're too overwhelming, you have to control yourself or hold yourself back, you know? And then uh, you have to realize, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't actually want to. So you'll find yourself putting yourself in situations that allow you to be yourself. So you'll make friends that allow you to be who you are. You get into workplaces where people are embracing and loving your creativity. Uh, if you value communication, you'll not find yourself, oh, I talk too much and I should shut up and just 
let things be and not talk about it. But you'll find yourself seeking out partners that allow you to talk and communicate with them, that support communication and dialogue and creative dialogue where you both can throw out ideas and thoughts and have different experiences. And you'll find that to be great. And that's the process of finding yourself. Self-realization, the hero's journey, is about going into relationships, getting into workplaces, getting into experiences and situations that you love, and setting boundaries for yourself. And every time you do something you love and you find yourself feeling happy and excited and like you're in true, true flow to be like, whoa, I didn't know this was so important to me. And every time that you uh, aren't being true to yourself or aren't making your dreams come true or aren't doing things that make you happy, you'll be sitting and you'll be like, hmm. you know, that's the thing. Uh, people are either act to achieve what they love and to do what they care about and what matters to them, or they act to protect themselves from disappointment and from things that won't lead anywhere and f from uh, fear of criticism or fear of uh, being judged. So people either act to be alive and to feel alive or to not die or to not be killed by the tribe. And you know, that's a crazy thing. We are so molded and shaped by our relation to self and to the tribe, you know. Uh, we have the self and we have the tribe and we have them looking at each other and so we're constantly trying to integrate that. And uh, it's so difficult, you know. Some people are built to thrive in the community, you know. They love being in the community and they love being there. But of course, even if they do, they still need freedom. And they, of course, even if they do, they still need passion. And if the community is more like a system where you can't be passionate, but where you have to contain yourself, where you have to be logical and objective and factual and business-like, and uh, where you have to uh, just go along with the flow and do what everyone else does, and when you can't express yourself, you're going to feel dead. You're going to feel so bad. You're going to feel terrible. And um, you find yourself realizing that for the most part in life, you're getting some things you like, but you're also not getting other things you like. You have multiple things you like. You find you have multiple interests, multiple passions, multiple needs. And um, that's why we can't really set easy goals for ourselves. We can't say, oh... I'm going to become a politician and then I'm going to be happy. But you're going to realize you're going to find yourself working to be a politician and you'll find yourself getting caught up in conflicts and drama you don't like and the uh, rules that you hate and demands that don't fit you. And uh, that's when you're going to have to realize, no, I'm not, I don't just want to be a politician. I want to be a kind of politician that doesn't need these rules, and that doesn't need these situations. I'm going to need to be a different kind of politician where I'm going to have to find another career that gives me politic political outlets uh, unrelated to politics. And uh, the same will go for whatever you decide to do. And you, whatever you have to do, whatever you do, you have to make it about yourself. You have to make your dream about yourself. And you have to reaffirm yourself. I told everyone in my last video, self-reaffirming yourself. You think... You can't love yourself because you have to be successful in your dream first. But you have to be successful by reaffirming yourself and reaffirming who you are as you work towards your dream. You have to say, I'm, I love this about myself and this is what will help me become successful in my dream and my aspiration. And uh, I need this to become successful in my aspiration. You can't tell yourself, no, I can't have these needs, I can't feel this way, I can't think this way, I can't have these values if I'm going to make it in my dream. Because if you don't, it won't be your dream anymore, it will be somebody else's. And you won't have the energy, you won't have the passion, you have, won't have the stress levels and the stress tolerance, and you won't have the calm that you need to make yourself in the flow pursuing this dream. And everyone else around you will be looking at you pursuing this dream and they will see how stressed you are, how anxious you are, how tired you seem, and they won't want to <laughs> vote for you. They won't want to laugh at your jokes because they will feel bad and they will feel uh, like overwhelmed by it, just as you feel overwhelmed by it. And then there's a point of us that is stubborn enough to keep pushing and keep trying, but what you're doing when you push and when you keep trying to do the wrong things to reach the right dream is you realize that it uh, you're only making the message more clear for yourself. You're only clarifying to yourself. 
how much you really need it, how much important it really is, and how much it really matters. So set boundaries for yourself, redefine who you are, follow these five rules. You are what makes you feel good. You are what you do, even though there is no reward, nothing to gain from being that way. You are what takes zero effort for you, what comes natural to you. You are what you love to do, and you are your own ideal ideal. So thank you all for watching today's video. I'm uh, filming live from Lulio. Well, not live, but I'm in Lulio and it's a winter paradise. Look how it looks. It's snow, snow and snow and it's amazing. It's a great vacation and I'm happy to be here. And if you have any thoughts on this subject, if you have any thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Let me know a time in your life where you found out who you are. And then think about what you were doing, what made you find out who you are. Was it reading theory or was it out being out living life and making your dreams come true? Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.